I'll say two things about that. One, we would welcome China playing a constructive role uh, in the Middle East. The Secretary has, has made this clear personally in his conversations with Wang Yi. I called Wang Yi on our first trip to the Middle East and said if there's anything they can do to prevent the conflict from widening in terms of using the lines of communications that they have available to countries in the Middle East, we would welcome that. He followed up on that conversation with Wang Yi is here, and they had a very productive conversation about it. Um, the, to the larger question, though, I would say one of the things that we heard repeatedly from every party with which we engaged on our last trip was the indispensability of the United States in every aspect of this conflict, uh, whether it comes from get to getting humanitarian assistance in, whether it comes to preventing the conflict from widening. Um, as I've said from this podium before, it is the United States, not any other country, that was able to negotiate an agreement to begin delivering humanitarian assistance in. It was the United States that was able to push for and achieve humanitarian pauses so civilians, so civilians could move around Gaza more safely than they could before. Um, it is the United States that's the largest humanitarian donor to the Palestinian people. So we always welcome any other countries that can play productive diplomatic roles. Um, but the thing we hear from partners over and over again in the region is there, no there is no substitute for U.S. leadership. And it's why the Secretary and the President and other members of the administration continue to stay engaged on this and will continue to stay engaged on it.